Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. Uh, today I'm going to be getting back on my Freddy security system uh, that I've shown in the past. And one of the questions I've had is how do I make this so I don't have to have the internet connection? And uh, I really never thought much of it until I had a need for it and I uh, come across a really neat device. So basically right now what you need to do if you want this to be online, you have to have a way of hooking it up to uh, the network using just a piece of Cat5. Well, I found this really neat device online that, uh, that allows you to take um, your Wi-Fi and turn it into a regular network. So basically what this does is this allows you to plug it into your device and grab a Wi-Fi signal. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do today. So in a nutshell, what's going to happen is you're going to take this device that I'm going to show you how to configure, and you're going to plug it into the network just like that and the USB is for the power you can have an external power if you want but this device here has a uh, USB port anyways so now this device this receiver is completely uh, wireless I have a building that I do not have a piece of cat 5 2 and um, this little device here is going to uh, take care of that problem for me I've already tried it it works great I've reset this back to factory default so I can show you how to do it so let's go ahead and get started all right, so go ahead and plug it into your uh, computer. I'm using a laptop. If you're going to use a laptop, you have to make sure that you um, disable the Wi-Fi that's on your laptop. If you're using a PC, all you have to do is unplug the network and plug this in. So you're going to need to do this when you're configuring this little device. So go ahead, plug it in, and then bring up a browser. And you're going to type in, and this information is on the back of the device, and it's also on the box itself and included in the directions. So let's go ahead and type in uh, HTTP vonets.cfg. And you can see that it's come up because I have been in here once or twice before. And then it's going to come up with a username and password. It's going to be admin for the username and the password is admin. Let's go ahead and do that. And basically it's going to go right to the defaults. All right, so you're going to um, look for your Wi-Fi and what you want this device to connect to. And this one here, I want it to connect to stage one. So you go ahead and click on stage one. Don't worry about anything else. If you want this to be a repeater or to do anything else, then you're going to have to look that up. This is strictly just so you can get a device that does not have Wi-Fi on the Internet. So go ahead and select that one. Hit next. Then it's going to ask for the password, channel run, then you go ahead and hit apply, and that is it. That's all you have to do. It's going to reboot. Uh, on. It doesn't generally reboot on its own. I'm going to go ahead and hit reboot. When I do this, I'm going to lose this, this signal on uh, this machine here. Okay, so uh, it's all been rebooted, and now I've got it on my device. So all this does is it replaces the Cat5. If you have a piece of Cat5, obviously you're not going to need this device. But if you have a building that doesn't have Cat5 and you need to be able to get online for your security system, this little device works fantastic. I'm using the uh, USB power instead of the external power because it comes with it and I have an extra USB port on the back of this uh, receiver. And I just got a double-sided tape onto the unit itself. On the back of this, again, it's got all the directions and how to log into the device. Uh, it has it on the box as well and also the packet that it comes with. So I hope this helps and uh, thanks an awful lot for watching.